Oop. All right, I'm back again to the gong show of life and death, which are the same thing. Nothing to worry about, nothing to be scared about, but it's very, very interesting that Constantine is real. The other side is real. You have the same body on this side as you do the other side. Because I was there. I went and I had a tub and I fell asleep. And I was very, very depressed. And then I woke up in the bedroom. I'm looking around. I'm like, this is interesting. And then the light went off. And I got out of bed. And I got up. And I turned on the light. And the bedroom door was closed. And I have not closed the bedroom door since July 17th, 2022, when my wife passed away. So I was very shocked to see her see a door or that's you know a closed door in front of me. So I opened the door and my wife was standing there. And I called out to her and went, Laura, is that you? Is that really you? And I reached my hand out to her and I said, Laura, touch me. Touch me, Laura. And we touched hands. And I felt her like she was here on this side. And then I woke up back in the tub. And now I'm thinking about it going, if that was my body, that's the same body I have on this side. And I was in it and I got out of bed. But obviously I was sleeping in on that side <laughs> with the light off when the door closed and her in the rest of the house doing whatever she does, right? And then I got out of bed and I touched her hand and I woke up back in the tub. So that's me that means that my body on that side collapsed on the ground in the apartment that I live in right now. In the hallway between the bedroom and the bathroom. And that, that makes me upset. That makes me very upset to know that my body on the other side literally might be lying on the ground. <laughs> lying on the ground in my hallway between the bedroom and the bathroom right now. That's very disappointing. I almost want to go back just to pick my body up and put it back in the bedroom so it's back in the bed sleeping. At least I know where it is. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm in the hallway. I'm going to feel sore for days now thinking I'm in the hallways collapsing on the ground. Oh. Let's try to go back just to move my body back to the bedroom again. <laughs> Scare one more time. But no. I was in the fifth dimension. I was on my wife's side of... The Matrix, I guess you could say. And all I was doing was sleeping in the tub, using the water as the conduit between this realm and her realm. And I woke up in her realm. I still don't understand why she was crying, though, when she saw me. She was scared to see me, like it was like she wasn't expecting to see me yet. Like she knows when I'm gonna die and it's not yet. But so she was like in shock to see me walk out of the bedroom and she started crying when she saw me. I don't understand what that means. I don't have to analyze that one. But it's like she wasn't expecting to see me yet. Like she knows when I'm gonna show up and it's too early. 
And I've always said God doesn't want me just yet. But now that I know that this body I'm in today is the same one I'm going to be in on the other side, it makes me know that Jesus is real and he did come back in the body and show his wounds to his disciples. Because it's all true. We do get this body back. I was really hoping that wasn't true because sometimes I don't like this body. But now that I know that, yes, I'm going to have this body on the other side too. Huh. Makes me wonder though, if I went to the other side and I stayed there longer and something happened to me on that side and I died, would I wake up on this side and have to stay over here forever because I killed my body on that side? Totally makes me wonder now. It it it, it, it makes me wonder what happens if I do die on that side. Do I I mean if I if I die here in this realm, right? And I wake up on in that realm with that body, same body, and something happens to me there and I die. What happens to me then? Do I wake up in another body? Is there another body waiting for me? I, or do I wake up as a, as a baby and start over again? I don't, I was the same age. I'm the same body. Laura looked exactly the same as she did when she was alive. And it's just, it makes me wonder now that, okay, I die on this side and I end up over there. And everything's the same. Apartment. Everything's the same. It's like, you know, it's like, do we just live in an apartment to, and, and we have to live with the new people that show up too? And that's why ghosts do what they do and rattle things. And then we got the people that get right mad and like, oh, get out of my house. And they just destroy the place. Is that what the deal is? Because, I mean, I hear rattling once in a while. And I know it's my wife, Laura, in the kitchen rattling with the silverware for some reason. I always tell her. Leave it alone. I'll get to it. <laughs> she never she never did the dishes on this side. So I don't know why she's bugging about the dishes on that side. But uh, it's weird. It's like, do we still have to eat? Do we still have to sleep? Like, I know I'm in a coma on her side, obviously. I, I woke up from the coma and scared her. <laughs> Sorry, Laura. But no, it's it, it makes me wonder, though, if I die on that side... Where do where do we go then? Do we go back to baby form and get born here again? No. That's questions I'd like to an get answered, but I don't know who can answer that question. You have to go on their side to get an answer, I guess. But anyway, just a little story that uh the five the, the fifth dimension's real and the people that die around you are living the best life ever, it seems. It's like they're no like they, she had no she is, her body looked, you know, just as fine as it did when she was on this side. So, I don't know. Maybe just because the way she died. She, you know, she had an internal problem, not an external problem. So maybe if you do die, like, in a with a car crash or, or, or a bullet wound or a knife or a stabbing, maybe those wounds are with you on that side. I don't know. But I do know that you get this body. You're in the same body on that side that you're on this side. So, uh... That's all I can say for now. Until next time, goodbye.